Hello, hello, hello. Good to see you. You get fairy dust, I get fairy dust, Amelie gets fairy dust, and I have a handwritten Ask in Advance bitch. Ooh, I'm so fancy. Could you please do a video on conscious versus unconscious versus subconscious? Okay, so you've heard me use these terms, and um, you, you'll hear me say conscious versus unconscious, and um, I think I'm using them in a very um, non-researchy way. I'm just using them as a, um, a way for me to think about that, you know, and so, so, so you can look up those definitions, like, and, and I think you, that might be helpful to you, but I'm thinking that you might be asking me um, conscious versus conscious versus subconscious, and for the way that I'm using it, I would say the subconscious and the unconscious are the same in my, in the context that I'm using it in. Um, but those, I bet you anything, those have like different definitions or even different psychological de definitions. But for me, conscious versus unconscious means um, I have an intent. I have a, um, it, it, it's everything that I see around me. It's everything that I can think or pull up or it's everything um, that I do. It's just my life and me living my life. And, but the unconscious is, um, you know, that the often, very often you'll see, if you do a Google image search of conscious versus unconscious, you're gonna see a, you're gonna see a glacier. <laughs> you're gonna see an iceberg. So, and, and it's typically like the iceberg is here. So here, you, you know, you're, you're seeing the iceberg and this is the water, the water level. And what they say is, uh, hold on, um, let's draw it. Okay, so what they say is, um, everything under the water is your unconscious. And so, okay, I just wanna make sure that doesn't look like something weird. Okay, so here's the surface of the water. So, this is our conscious, the stuff that we can see and the stuff that we can experience and do. But here is the unconscious. It's huge, it's vast, it's got a lot of, um, and I would say like this is the picture of the psyche. Like it's, I mean, not really because that looks like trash, but, um, but to me that the unconscious and the conscious make up what's going on in the psyche. Oopsies. So, um, so, to me, here's an example. So I want to start running. I want to start running. I want to start running. Uh, and uh, and let's say I want to lose weight. Like I'm, I'm, I'm overweight and I want to lose weight. And so I've got my plan. I got the book. I got the learnings. I got the thing. I got my little habit tracker. I got, I'm like ready to go. And I'm ready to, like, this is gonna be great. Like, I'm really doing this, I'm finally doing it. I'm so glad I'm finally doing it. This is gonna be great. And then um, I never get one foot out of the house, ever. <laughs> like, it just never happens. And that's because this is the way I look at it and like take it with a grain of salt and only if it's helpful. But to me, for if that happened in my life, I would not beat myself up. I would laugh, I would giggle because it's like, oh, whatever's in my unconscious is actually preventing me from acting on the conscious thoughts of I should run, this is gonna be great, ba 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 ba. And so to me, there's something going on in my unconscious that is preventing me by design from acting on whatever the thing is that I said that I wanted to do. And so an example for me would be, I was very overweight um, grow, all growing up and I, um, I begged, I prayed to God every night, like, please take away these thighs. <laughs> like, I mean, it's sad, I'm not, I'm laughing about it now, but um, <laughs> prayers, prayers of a <laughs> 12 year old, Jesus Christ. Um, so, I tried to lose weight. I tried and I tried and I tried and I tried to exercise. I tried, I tried everything. 
I could not lose weight because of what was going on in my unconscious. And there was a lot of stuff going on in my unconscious. I needed the food to cope, which I didn't realize. I needed to, um, you know, I there was something about being overweight and hiding myself inside a bigger body and all that. Like, so there was a lot of shit going on. And that's just like the tip of the iceberg. That's just like, like there's probably oceans of shit that I'm using my, prop very well oceans and iceberg um of things that were preventing me from doing that as well um and a couple just popped in my mind too but but that's what i mean is um and that's why i'm a, i work um why my theory of choice is uh depth psychology because to me it's like i can you know i can make all the plans and do my you know do you know reach for goals and all that um but i know it, you know and it happens like people will come to see me because they are um not happy in their life and they're mad that they keep doing a thing and so i'm well i get excited because i'm like i can't wait to find out what's blocking this person that's what i'm that's if you really like really pin me down on what what the magic is that i do in my office it's I can find the thing that's blocking the growth. I can find the thing that is holding us back and I are holding somebody back or how the thing that's there that's hidden. Um, and that's what, you know, I say, like I help my clients find, they, they, I help them find their answers. I don't have the answers. They do. And I help them find it. And this is one of the ways how I, I, but I help them. Um, but yeah, I, I find the blocks to personal growth and we fucking lift them. That's what we do. And so, um, that's why I use it. That's how I think about it. It's very union. It's very, <laughs> um, yeah. So yeah, I saw emoji that said forever Yum. Like somebody who made a little emoji gift situation. Like they know Jung. I love it. Carl Jung. Okay. Anyway, I hope that was helpful. I hope that was um, helped kind of clear it up for you. Um, so mainly it's just not to worry about it, but just to know that if you are puzzled, huh, I said I was going to wake up early all this week and I keep sleeping in. I wonder what's going on with me that I don't want to do that. <laughs> and um, that journey, that's why people journal, that's why they go to therapy, they want to find out what that thing is from, blo that's blocking them. Okay, hope that was helpful, bye.